Alright, so welcome everybody. Welcome to PPGYT, our YouTube channel. My name is Aiki and I'm going to guide you today to a relaxing flow, 45 minutes. You can do this right after your workouts or maybe on the end of the day, whenever you feel like just coming into your body and tuning in with yourself for a moment. Um, before we start, don't forget if you like these kind of videos to subscribe and to like and um, let's get started. So we're going to start in Sukhasana, cross-legged position. And just let your hands rest onto your thighs here. Draw your elbows inwards. And wiggle your sit bones down into the core of the earth. And just feel that foundation. Feel that support. Feel the power of the earth. And then continue to actively rooting downward to create that length upward. With your chin parallel to the floor, length in the back of your neck. No tension in your jaw. Relaxing all your facial muscles. And then if you want, you can softly close your eyes. And give yourself a moment here to just simply unwind from the activity from moving from somewhere to here and then just be aware of the space you are in becoming present so physically as well as energetically and begin to fully retreat yourself inwards Just simply sit as you feel the air passing in and out through your nose. And I really see if you can sit here without really doing the breath, without trying to control the breathing. And just simply feel and observe. Just to help you to align the mind, reducing the fluctuations of the mind. And from there, allowing the breath to become deeper. So finding out your capacity to breathe deeper without forcing the breath. So allow your next inhale to become a little bit deeper. And then the exhale to become longer. And then maybe you can already feel, receive, that the mind begins to really align with the pace of your breath. So coming into this rhythm of breathing in a little bit deeper down into your belly. Exhaling as you use your abdominals, you draw the belly in and then you move the breath all the way up and out. And then again, inhaling downward, feel the belly expanding. Exhale, draw the belly in and move the breath all the way up and out using your abdominals. Let's do one more time, breathing in deep. And exhaling long. And then on your next inhale, you gently open up your eyes. And then you open your arms out wide. Now really plug your arm bones into your shoulder sockets. Feel the shoulder blades firm onto the back. Take a deep breath in again. Exhale. And on your next inhale, you begin to reach your arms all the way up. Keep your sit bones rooted. Exhale, bring your hands together and down in front of the heart as you grow tall through the spine. Now interlace the fingers, push the palms of the hands towards you, open your elbows wide, breathing in. And when you exhale, you draw the belly in and then you push your hands forward, rounding the back. Inhale, bend your elbows, move the chest through, opening. Exhale, you draw the belly in, you roll to the back of the sit bones and then you round the back. Inhale, hands towards you, chest is opening. Exhale, press the hands away. Now on your next inhale, you reach your arms all the way up. Lower back is in and up. And then when you exhale, you just 
release the fingertips all the way down good now right arm reach it all the way up and over stretching all the way towards the side and then you reach your arm all the way up you bend your elbow you slide the back of your head into your hands and then inhale you'll open your elbow wide lifting the chest exhale you contract the elbow towards the knee inhale begin to open your elbow open the chest expanding here exhale you move your elbow towards your knee one more time inhale you open and when you exhale you contract your elbow towards your knee and then you lower your arm down you move all the way through the center you come onto your fingertips you take a deep breath in lift the elbows and then when you exhale you slowly roll yourself all the way up lifting the chest and breathing all the way out good now left arm scoop it over your head reaching all the way towards the sides and then you reach your arm all the way up you slide the back of your head into your hands and then as you inhale you begin to open the elbow and you lift the chest upward exhale contracting the elbow towards the knee we do two more of these inhale so play with expansion opening and exhale contraction as you pull your elbow towards your thigh one more time you open the chest keep on pressing the right hand down and then when you exhale you contract and then you move that left arm all the way through the center you come onto your fingertips you take a deep breath in exhale root the fingertips roll yourself all the way up now one more time inhale reach the arms all the way up exhale grounding the sit bones and bring your hands together in front of the heart as you grow tall through the spine and take a moment here to set out your intention for your practice bowing down your head to your heart and breathing into that now lift your head open up your eyes place your hands in front of you roll over your knees and set yourself up into your all fours position so on your hands and on your knees here and making sure you connect your hands really firmly into the power of the earth so pull up strong for your from your arms curl your toes under lift the belly and reach the crown of the head away now as we inhale we extend the right leg straight back push the ball of the foot away exhale follow your knee towards your nose root the fingertips and round the back inhale radiate your leg from your center push the ball of the foot away exhale contract the knee towards the nose as you press down you hug your knee in one more time inhale you radiate from your center you push the ball of the foot away exhale you move your knee towards your nose and then you reach your leg all the way back you hold it here you reach the left arm forward make a line from the fingers to the toes take one deep breath in exhale lower your hands lower your knee now keep your toes curled under you breathe in here and then when you exhale you move your hips towards your heels keep rooting the fingertips and just shift your hips back with the toes still curled under you breathe in first here exhale press draw the belly in and really rounding forwards now when you are there with your shoulders above your wrists you offer the heart and the crown of the head forward breathing in exhale again shift your hips back inhale here exhale press draw the belly in rounding all the way forward just to really become familiar with this move inhale reach the crown of the head away exhale with the fingertips still rooted you rock your hips onto your heels one more deep breath in here exhale push draw in round up before this time you're gonna arc through the spine so you lift the tailbone you gaze up spread the collarbones now pay attention we're gonna exhale we bend the elbows and then you press you draw in and then you round the back all on that exhalation rounding now the back we do two more of these inhale we arc now long breath out you bend your elbows you root the fingertips you extend your arms and you round the back like you pick yourself up from your core we do one more time inhale we are we gaze forward exhale we bend the elbows we come in closer to the ground you push you draw in and then you round the back now as you inhale you reach the crown of the head away and then you exhale all the air out okay let's go to the other side so left leg reach it back push the ball of your foot away keep lifting the belly exhale follow your knee towards your nose really keep rooting the fingertips down now inhale you radiate from your center keep looking in between your hands 
Exhale, knee towards the nose. So really mindfully make these movements here. Feel what you're doing. Inhale, radiate your leg back. One more time, you move your knee towards your nose. Inhale, reach your leg back. Hold it here. Feel the balance. And then begin to reach the right arm forward. Make a line from the fingers to the toes. Curl the chin a little bit in. Feel the length in the back of your neck. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hands. Lower your knee. And then again, we breathe in first. Exhale, we move the hips towards the heels. Inhaling here. Exhale, press, draw in and rounding all the way forwards. Offer the heart and the crown of the head forward on an inhalation. Exhale, rocking back. Inhale here. Exhale, push and round. So find this flow in the movement. Inhale, you reach the crown of the head. One more time, exhale, you move your hips back. You breathe in. Exhale, you round forward. And this time, you go into your arc. So we're going to cat cow, but with a, with a variation. So inhale. Exhale, coming closer to the ground, root the fingertips. And then you extend your arms as you round the back. Just two more. In. Exhale, bend your elbows. Root, draw in, and rounding. One more. Inhale, just to really... Wake up the spine, really awaken the spine. You bend your elbows, you root, and you pick yourself up as you draw the belly in. Now reach the crown of the head away. Inhale here. And when you exhale, you lift your knees, and you begin to lift your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Now, once we are here, we always take a moment here to pedal the heels. Sway your hips. And maintain that flow within your breath. So just really feel into the back of your legs, your calves, your hamstrings. Keeping your ears aligned in between your arms, length in the back of your neck. And just really take a moment to tune in with how your body feels. Good. Now slowly come into stillness. Turn your heels a tiny bit out. Just a touch out, toes a bit in. You can have a little bend into your knees and then try to really push your hips away from your hands. And don't push the lower part of the rib cage out. So draw the ribs in. Feel that you really engage the core as well here. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Okay, now softly bend your knees. And then really mindfully you begin to walk your feet forward. You place your feet underneath your hips. Now be really soft into your knees and just let your upper body hang down over your legs. So maybe you can place the back of your hands onto the mat, palms of the hands facing up. And you just open your elbows out to the side. You sway a little bit from side to side. Let the head hang down. Relax the back of the neck. Feel gravity having a nice pull here onto your spine. And see if you can roll your shoulders a little bit. Feel an effect on your neck. Gently shaking your head, yes, no. Okay, now from here, we we'll take a deep breath in. We exhale. On the next thing, when you come onto your fingertips, you push your hips back, you reach the crown of the head away, halfway lift. Now don't round the back, just press the feet, draw the belly in, begin to roll yourself all the way up. Now open your arms wide as you breathe into the belly, inhale. Exhale, bring your fingertips down and bend your knees. And then again, inhale, you reach the crown of the head away as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, press the feet, draw the belly in, begin to roll yourself all the way up. Now open your arms, breathe into the belly, you inhale. Exhale, shift your weight into your heels, touching the fingertips down. Inhale, one more time, this move, we lengthen now, flat back. We don't fold, we just press the feet. We keep the spine long, we roll up. But then you open your arms, you breathe into the belly. Like you fill up the belly with your breath. Exhale, fingertips lower down, now you stay low. You float your arms over your head, you breathe all the way in, Utkatasana. And then when we exhale, we fold hands through the center line, forward fold. Inhale, waving out, for left back. And when you exhale, you step here, your left foot to the back of your mat. So you take a big step here with your left leg back. You land on the ball of your foot. You lower your knee down. And then you press the front foot. You open your arms wide, breathing in. So push that right foot. 
Exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, move your arms straight forward. Allow your hips to come a little bit forward. Feel that stretch in the groin, but keep on pressing the right foot. Exhale, twist towards the right side. You move a little bit back here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, follow your right arm down. Float your arms over your head. As you keep the front knee above the heel and the ankle, feel the stretch in the left groin. You breathe in. And when you exhale, you lower your hands. You slide your right knee next to your left knee. You open your knees and you rock your hips onto your heels. Filling up with one deep breath in. Exhale, root, draw in round. And then you reach the crown of the head away. Now we bend the elbows and we lower down. So we lower the chest down first. The rest of the body follows. You place yourself down onto your belly. Press the tops of the feet. Turn your fingertips a little bit out. Curl the chin in. And then roll your shoulders back. Cobra. In. Exhale. Roll over your knees. Curl your toes. And lift your hips up and back. Downward facing. Dog. Inhale. Deep. Exhale. Long. All right. Now bend your knees. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Take time here. Feet underneath your hips. And then like we did before, we halfway lift. We breathe in. Now we maintain the length. We press the feet. We draw the belly in. We roll up. Open your arms wide. Breathe into the belly like you drop the breath into your belly. Exhale. You come the fingertips down. Inhale. Waving out. Flat back. Send your hips a little bit back and the crown of the head away. Exhale. Press. Draw in. Roll yourself all the way up. Open your arms wide as you breathe in. Exhale, weight into the heels, fingertips lower down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, full, draw in, roll yourself all the way up. Open your arms, you breathe in. And when you exhale, you lower your fingertips. And you come into the Utkatasana, so you move your arms forward and up. Tailbone lengthens down, weight into the heels, take a deep breath in. And then when you exhale with your hands through the center line, you fall. Okay, now halfway lift as you inhale. And this time it's the right leg that we step back. So take a huge step with your right leg to the back, landing here on the ball of your foot. Slowly lower your knee down. Press the left foot, open your arms wide, breathing in. And then when you exhale, you rotate or you first lower your arms down. That's it. First the arms down. Then you float your arms up. You breathe in. Exhale, rotate towards the left side. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your arm. Reach the arms over your head, breathing in. And when you exhale, you lower your hands. You slide your left knee next to your right knee. You open your knees out to the side. You rock your hips onto your heels. You fill up with one deep breath in. Exhale, push. Draw in, rounding all the way forward. For the heart and the crown of the head forward. Lower your chest down first. Then the rest of the body follows. Then you curl the chin in. It's like you peel your upper body off the mat. You come into the cobra. And you roll over your knees, curl the toes, and lift your hips up and back, downward facing. Now take a deep breath in here. A long and full breath out. Okay, now bend your knees. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Lengthening out into your flat back as you breathe in. Now this time... Same, same, but a little bit different. We press the feet and we move the arms sideways and up. Inhale, arms reach over the head. Exhale, bring your hands together. And down. Have a moment here to feel how you're standing. Feet upon the earth, shoulders back and down. Chest nice and open. Belly slightly in and up. Good. We're going to go into the variation of sun salutations. So lower your hands down. Open your eyes. Ground the feet. Float your arms up. Inhale here. Exhale. We fold. Good. Then we lengthen out into the flat back as we breathe in. Exhale. Step into your plank position. Hold the plank for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your hips into the air. Downward facing dog. Now from here you lift your heels. You roll all the way forward into your plank position. 
arrive into your plank, one deep breath in, exhale, lower your knees, release your toes, bend your elbows, lower your chest down, and the rest of the body follows, turn the fingertips out, curl the chin in, roll your shoulders back, cobra, and then you lift your hips up and back into your downward facing duck, inhale nice and deep, exhale long, okay, bend your knees, walk your feet to the top of the mat, once you arrive there, you wave out into your flat back, turn your, gr turn your groins in, the sit bones wide, the crown of the head reaches forward, we fold, we press the feet, we rise all the way up as we inhale, we go straight into the next round. We float the arms over the head. And when you exhale, you fold with your hands through the center line. Inhale, waving out, flat back. Exhale, we st first step into the plank. We have a moment here to hold the plank. Feel your own strength, and then you push and you move your hips away from the hands down, up. Inhale, here. Exhale, roll all the way forward, arriving into your plank. So if you want to go into low plank, feel free to do so. Otherwise, join me with the knees down. Release the toes, bend your elbows, lower your chest. Curl the chin in, roll your shoulders onto the back, lift. Exhale, moving back into your downward facing dog. Good. Now from here, on your next inhale, you begin to reach the right leg into the air. Push the ball of your foot away. Inhale. Exhale, lift your left heel and then move your right knee towards your nose. Hold it here. And you step your foot next to your thumb. Now we anchor the back heel down. We're going to circle the left arm forward, up and over to come into the warrior. Aligning your front knee above your heel and your ankle. And reach your arms away. And then place your elbow onto your thigh. You begin to circle your left arm all the way up. And then forward and down. Grounding the feet. Rising all the way up. We reverse the warrior as we reach the right arm over the head. Inhale here. Exhale, coming all the way back. Car wheel the back arm. You lift your back heel. And then you extend your right arm all the way up. And you come into your twist. Inhale, twist. Exhale, move your arm forward and down. Lower your hand down and step your right leg back into your plank position. Inhale, here. Exhale, move the hips up and back, downward facing. Duck. Good. From here, we go into a vinyasa. So we lift the heels. We roll all the way forward into the plank. Inhale, here. Exhale, lower the knees. Release the toes. Lower down to the earth. On the inhalation, you roll the shoulders back as you lift the chest. Exhale, roll over your knees, curl the toes. And move your hips up and back, downward facing. Good, stay where you are. Take one deep breath in. And exhale. On your next inhale, left leg now, reach it up. Do it on the length of your breath. Lift the right heel, move your knee towards your nose. Stepping your foot next to your thumb, anchor in the back heel down. And circle the right arm forward, up and over. Coming into your where we are bending the front knee. Aligning your front knee above your heel and your ankle, reach the arms away. Now elbow onto your thigh, reach the arm up. Circle it forward and down, grounding the feet to let your upper body come up again. Reverse the warrior on inhalation. Exhale, moving back. Car wheel the back arm, lifting the back heel. Step it back into your plank. You breathe in. Rebound the hips up and back, downward facing duck. In. And then one more time. We roll forward into the plank. We lower the knees. Release the toes. Bend your elbows. Lower down. Inhale. We'll roll the shoulders back. Exhale. Let's come into child's pose from here. Rocking your hips. Onto your heels, coming into your child's pose. And just for a moment, really connect with your breath. Feel the breath. And then you slowly begin to roll yourself all the way up. 
And just for a moment, interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders onto the back. Lift the chest. Inhale here. Exhale. One more deep breath in. And when you exhale, you release the grip. You place your hands in front of you. Press the hands. And then you begin to make a little hop. So you press, you hop your feet, and you come and sit onto the mat. Cool. Now from here, the right leg is forward. The left leg moves all the way back. We're going to come into pigeon pose. We come onto the fingertips. We lift the chest. Now try to spin your left inner thigh upward towards the, towards the ceiling. So don't turn the leg out, but rotate it inward. Lifting the chest. And then when you exhale, you bend your elbows and you lower all the way down. Now root the fingers. Curl the chin in. Begin to roll yourself all the way up. Breathing in. And then when you exhale, you bend your elbows and you lower all the way down. One more time. Inhale, curl the chin in. Peel yourself all the way up. Exhale, lower. Now from here, we're going to place the left elbow onto the mat. Arm parallel to the front side of the mat. Now press that elbow and then circle your right arm all the way up. And maybe you can hold your legging or the back here. Or maybe you can even reach towards that right foot. Now keep pushing the left elbow and rotating the chest. So you really spin the chest all the way up. And keep that length in the back of your neck. Breathing here. And one more deep breath in. Exhale. Release. Coming back onto your fingertips one more time. You curl the chin and you roll yourself all the way up. And then you move your weight into your right hip. And you move your left leg all the way forward. Now step your feet in front of you. And then begin to roll down onto your back. So we roll all the way down. You move your heels a little bit closer towards you. Arms alongside your body. We go to Setu Banda. So bridge pose. The, knees a little, the heels a little bit turned out. Toes a little bit turned in. And then you just really slowly tilt your pelvis. Lower back comes on the mat. You begin to press the feet and you begin to lift your hips into the air. So your feet are really strong into the mat. Your legs are active. The back muscles are working. Try to not squeeze your glutes. Try to The glutes are just firm eh? because this shape, you don't have to really squeeze them together. Now breathing here. Maybe you can snuggle your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly roll down from the upper part to the mid part, to the lower part of your spine. And you let your knees fall together, your hands onto your belly, and you just have a moment here to neutralize the spine. Move your knees towards your chest. Cross the ankles. Roll all the way up. And then we're going to go to the other side. So now we bend the left knee. And we sweep the right leg towards the back. We come into pigeon towards the other side. So you come onto the fingertips. You lift the chest. You breathe in. Exhale, bend your elbows. And lower all the way down. Curl the chin in. Peel yourself all the way up. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your elbows and lower down. And again, you curl the chin in, you roll yourself all the way up, you breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down. And then your right elbow in front of you, you push your right elbow and you circle your left arm. Now you rotate your chest and then you begin to open the chest here. Breathing here. So keep on pressing the right elbow. You don't want to hang out into that shoulder. You want to keep on lifting it. And up, rotate. Release. Come back onto your fingertips. Press. Roll yourself all the way up. Curl the chin in. 
and then you move your weight into your right hip, left hip. So you move your right leg all the way forwards. And then again, you begin to roll down onto your back. So roll yourself all the way down. We go back into that bridge with a variation here. So turn your heels a little bit out, toes a little bit in, arms alongside your body. Tilt your pelvis first and begin to roll yourself all the way up. Holding it here. And then as you inhale, you begin to reach your arms upward in and all the way over your head. Good. Now stay. And then you slowly begin to roll yourself all the way down from the upper part to the mid part to the lower part of your spine. You roll yourself all the way down. Good. And then again, you tilt. The lower back comes onto the mat. You press. You begin to lift all the way up into the air. So we do this a few times. We lift. And then you slowly roll all the way down from the upper part to the mid part, all the way down. And let's do this one more time. So tilting your pelvis, lift your hips all the way up. And then you move your arms all the way up into the air. Lower them down. This time you move your shoulders closer towards each other. Use the back of the arms into the mat. Press, keep on lifting the hips, holding it here, breathing, one more deep breath in, release the grip, release the shoulders and slowly roll yourself all the way down, good, and then you let your knees fall together, hands onto your belly and neutralize. Good. And moving your knees towards the chest. Cross your ankles. And again, roll yourself all the way up. And you come back into your cross-legged position. So we're going to go into a twist, but we're going to do it seated today. So find your Sukhasana. And then open your arms wide as you breathe in. Now move your right arm up. Your left fingertips behind you. Make that length as you inhale. And when you exhale, you follow your right hand on the outside of your left thigh. Now twist, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, rotate, staying here. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. On your next inhale, you circle your left arm all the way up, big circle. Place your hand on the outside of your knee, and then you begin to fold forward and downwards, all the way down. Forehead closer to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, you begin to roll yourself all the way up. And lifting the chest and exhale. Good. Other side, inhale, arms up to the side first. Lift your left arm, right fingertips behind you, make length. And when you exhale, you twist, you follow your hand on the outside of your knee. Now really bring yourself out. Try to not twist from the hips, but really from the waist. Looking over your shoulder here. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, circle your arm all the way up. Big circle. Hand on the outside of the knee. And when you exhale, you fold forward. Forehead coming down. Inhale here. Exhale. On your next inhale, slowly roll yourself up, lifting the chest, and then you exhale all the air. Good. Now, pick up your knees. Slide your feet forward with your heels pressing down, but don't overstretch, don't stretch the legs all the way. So you keep a little bend into the knees. You move your arms up, you breathe in. And then exhale, you come all the way forward. And just forward. Exhale, full. That you don't push the lower back out, that you keep the length in the back. And then see if you have space to maybe extend your legs a little bit more. Good. Breathing here. And practicing contentment with whatever you are, wherever you are in this pose today. Your legs. 
all the way up. And then from here, you one more time, reach your arms forwards. And you really slowly begin to roll yourself all the way down. Keep the length in the lower back as you roll yourself all the way down towards the back. Releasing there. Good. Now just bring your knees towards your chest. Circle your knees a few times. Massaging your lower back and your sacrum here. Then you begin to extend both of your legs. Let's first bring the feet together and let the knees fall open like this. So we just have a little moment in Baddha Konasana to really allow the lower back to come in. You can place your hands on your belly. I'm really relaxing your legs here, relaxing the shoulders. Back of the head rests onto the mat. You can stay a little bit longer here. Or maybe you want to go into the full Shavasana. The feet falling open. Relaxing your thighs, your knees. Arms alongside your body. And just for a few moments here. In relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back. Moving a little bit your fingers, your toes. Deepening your breaths again. And from here you can reach your arms all the way over your head. Giving yourself a full stretch. One side of your body a little bit longer than the other side. And then you just gently begin to move your knees towards your chest and your arms around your knees. Circle your knees. And just taking your time here. Now from there, slowly begin to roll when you're ready onto the right side of your body. And then you use your hands to gently self up. To come back into your Sukhasana. So find back your cross-legged position where we started. And just have a moment to really notice how your body feels after this practice. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And then bowing down your head to your heart and honoring yourself for stepping onto your mats and doing this practice today. And lift your head. Open up your eyes. Namaste. So thank you all so much for joining today's flow. And I hope you feel good. And make sure to check out the other trainers with different workouts. And uh, stay tuned. I hope to see you very soon. And um, yeah, thank you for joining.